So welcome to the next section of this Excel 101 course. During this section, we're going to move away from creating structure within the document, adding content, and we're going to talk about formatting, making our document more presentable, adding colors, changing the font, adding borders, really just making it more presentable and ready for the prime time. So the first topic that I want to get into here deals with some font formatting. I want to change the size of my font, I want to change the color, I want to make it bold, I just want to make the fonts more presentable. Right now we just got a bunch of black text out there on a white background. There's really not much to it. Let's spice things up. For example, A1, cell A1 here, monthly budget, it's our title. It should be big and bold and red. It should really stand out and draw the attention so that when somebody comes to my document, right away they can see that, oh hey, this is the monthly budget. There's a big old title there at the top of the worksheet. So let's take a look at some formatting options here dealing with the font. Now I do want to point out that if you've done formatting in any other Microsoft application like Word or PowerPoint or inside the body of an email, this is going to feel pretty similar with a couple of minor differences. Nothing big though. You should feel right at home. So my first step, as in any application, before you perform any formatting, you want to highlight the cell or cells that you want to format. So in this case, I'm going to format the title monthly budget. I want to make it larger and bold. So I'm going to select cell A1, where I got monthly budget. Go to my home tab. On the home tab, I've got my font formatting commands right here. I've also got some alignment commands I can use as well. I'm going to stick with font for right now. So one, I'm going to change the font size. Maybe I'll go pretty big. I'll go like 28. That's a nice big title right there. And I want to make it bold. So I'll just hit the bold button. And I made my font larger, made it bold. Now there's other things I could do up there as well, like maybe italicize it or underline it. Uh, I could change the font itself got all these different types of fonts to pick from. You don't want to get too wacky with it, you know, make it not really readable. So do be careful of that. Sometimes keeping it simple is better. But either way, you've got a ton of options here to be able to format your content all through the font options. Let's try a little more. I want to do something with my headers here. So in this case, I want to do the same thing for bills and my months and total and percent. I want to make them all bold. So in this case, I'm going to highlight all of my headers, just from A4 to F4. With all of them selected, I'll go back up to home, back into my font section, and I'm going to make them bold. Now they stand out. I mean, even just that right there. One of the big things about formatting inside of an Excel document is to create separation in the content. In this case, I've just created separation between the headers and the actual records, the bills down below just by making them bold. Something so simple has added so much more to this document, made it that much more accessible and presentable. So try it out, just a couple little steps here. Format the title, change the font, change the, the size, make it bold, italicize it, whatever you wanna do. Format your document, make it more presentable. But remember, don't go overboard on it. You put too much going on in there, it just becomes clutter, becomes noise, and it's hard to read. But try it out to your heart's content, whatever you like to do there.